Alright guys, I've got the new notch scabbard for the chainsaw, put it on the bucket or on a lift. For my particular application, it's going to be going on a lift every once in a while. I have a super dead tree or something that's cracked too bad to climb, nothing around it to use to tie into a rig off of. So. I hate tripping over a chainsaw, so I got this to try to alleviate that problem. So we're going to put this together and uh, see how it works. <clears throat> We've got slots up here on the top and a couple slots down low. Depends on which way you want to mount it. If you want to mount it on the inside of the bucket, you just need these outside two up here and you need the supplied brackets if you want to mount it like I'm going to on a lift or outside then you need a different set of brackets and then a couple of sets of bump stops two of them go up here and two of them go down here to <clears throat> let it lean up against the outside of the bucket or the lift so the first thing that I've noticed from grabbing this is that when they made these pieces to go in here they did not get them cut out quite like they need to be um, try to get this up in front of the camera right down here it's kind of rounded that needs to be squared off so we're gonna have to use some sandpaper and sand some of that out of there because you will not get this hole to line up where it needs to line up up here if you don't stand on this so we're going to do a little sanding on this clean that up square it up a bit so that we can get it up where it needs to go So what I found was right here, it's a lot easier to cut these corners off right here than it is to try to sand the corners out of there. So I'm rounding these off right here where they were squared up real sharp because they didn't get these corners cut out real square. So if I knock these off, it'll allow that to go ahead and seat up in there because I'm not being able to reach this hole right here. So, just giving it a little sand. And then do a little bit on the other side too. Should be all you need to make those go up in there. It'd be better if they could have them cut out right to begin with, but it's not a big deal to sand that down just a bit to make it fit. They say you may need a hammer. Well, there wasn't no hammer that was going to get it up there. I was about 16th of an inch shy of even being able to get lined up with the hole, and that was using the hammer. So there you go. If you guys run into that, just sand those down a bit. Alright, well that was certainly more of a pain than it should have been, but uh, I've got the screws mounted in there, finally got them line up with the holes. So we've got the hangers mounted. Now we need to take and mount here and here. We have some bump stops that uh, we will be mounting there. And then we have some different bump stops that we'll be mounting down here just to sit in here like this. So those are going to be the same process 
going to have to clean them up a bit to get everything to line up. So we'll go ahead and do that and get those on. All right, well, sanding stuff down and trying to get it to fit that way. It worked for these bigger two right here, but uh, it's really being a pain for everything else. So especially these two right here that have a little bit smaller slot, kind of hard to get into. So I'm just going to re-drill the holes and uh, go from there. They're not critical anyway, they're just bump stops. These are the ones that it actually hangs off of and I got those right. So Maybe they can uh, step up their game and get a little bit better fitment on this because it, it appears to be a good product but uh, it's really a, a pain to get assembled and that's, that's not, not any good. We don't have time to waste trying to make stuff fit that should fit when we pull it out of the box. Alright guys, so we've got it here, we've got everything installed, we've got bump stops installed down here. So basically there's bump stops right here, there's bump stops right here, hangs right here, and that's, that's essentially what we're doing here. So that all looks pretty good. And what I decided was uh, it was just best to redrill the holes. It was way too much work to try to get everything ground down to match up just right with the holes. So I don't see any issues with anything being off by a sixteenth of an inch or less, but uh, it was a little frustrating that it didn't just come out of the box ready to assemble, so come on, step it up notch.